This project is going to be off the hook big, but it's the little details that make it perfect. So it's time for some changes. Now, this bobber has been in the family for about two years now, and since I've pretty much made my spring field exactly what I want, there's nothing left to do to it. The big bore kit, recent seat work, 16 inch apes, front fender, 19 inch wheel, Challenger war bonnet, adaptive headlight, two into one exhaust, dyno tunes. All right, I'm just gonna stop there. Let's just get back to the bobber. So first let's do a quick rundown on what's on the bike already. We pulled the brutally loud Kiriaka crushers off and replaced them with the semi-aggressive but acceptable Indian Stage 1 shorties. I really like how these slip on sound compared to the factory tubes and they're way shorter and less bulky looking. They're also a little bit lighter too. We also have a Stage 1 intake on the bike already so performance wise the barber's pretty content with how it runs but we still need to make some changes to improve the form and the function. Now we also recently had the seat remade and recovered, as you can see from the video here. Okay, let's start with the pegs on this bike. These things are way too long, they scrape way too easily, and Barb wants something more like a floorboard for comfort as well. But not this. Nope. Not on a barber. Sorry. But while we're at it, these little rubber shifter and brake pegs, they need to go too. We also wanted to make this bike a little more sleek, and these big bulky running lights and turn signals just don't fit the bobber's look and style in my mind. The factory shifter rod definitely needs some help too, and Indian does make an upgrade for this, but honestly, it lacks a little in style in my opinion. I also want to do something about the brake reservoir covers. Not a big fan of all this writing stamped into them, so those will need to be swapped out as well. And these engine bolts. Man, the engine bolts just don't cut it for me. I mean, I know it might sound a little petty, but why can't these match the paint? How hard would that be? Lucky for us, it's not hard at all. So we also have the issue of the suspension. These rear shocks are famous for being a bit on the stiff side, shall we say, so we're looking to replace these as well. I mean, these things are really basic, and you can tell just by the way the bike rides. Now lastly, the brake and clutch levers should definitely be blacked out too. I mean, they're the only chrome or polished aluminum thing on the handlebars. They have got to go. So we have all that. And then there's a couple of biggies. The wheels and tires are something I'd love to replace, but frankly, getting answers as to what will fit is almost harder than coughing up the cash to get it done. I'd like that to be a part of this series. Maybe it will be, but not sure how that's going to play out. Now, the last big one is the paint. And let's be real. These bikes are supposed to be dark and mysterious, and nothing embodies that more than the name Barbara has for her bobber, and that is none other than Maleficent. Yes, the seemingly evil but oh so misunderstood character from the Sleeping Beauty series. I can tell you this, this bike is going in for paint, probably as you watch this, and soon you're going to see something even more wicked come this way. Hey, stay tuned for updates on this build. We're going to include a bunch of how-to videos for all the parts we're installing during this upgrade. And when you see the finished result, man, this baby is gonna be ready to steal the show. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see all the upgrades as they happen. See you out on the road. Two Indians, out.